And the best way to overall reduce your system latency is to use the MSI mode for your GPU. No matter if it's hardware or software, they all send interrupts to your CPU, which are basically signals. That could be a signal from your GPU processing right now data for Fortnite. It could be your mouse registering that you just clicked it. It could be registering your keyboard or whatever. But keep in mind for your keyboard, it doesn't make too big of a difference, but especially for your GPU. So therefore here using the MSI mode basically gives your GPU a way faster way of communicating with your CPU. And to activate this specific MSI mode, all you need is a tool called MSI Mode Utility V3. And this is exactly how the tool looks like guys. You can see on the left side basically all types of hardware which are built in into your PC. You have your GPU, you have your Realtek gaming family controller, for me here a capture card, all of these host controllers which are somehow connected to my Intel CPU, high definition audio controllers and all of that. And basically all we gotta care about guys is to find our current GPU. For me it's the Nvidia GeForce RTX 4060 as of right now and you can see on the right side supported devices, line based MSI. Line based is basically the normal way how before interrupts get processed on your PC, but the MSI mode is as mentioned a lot faster. So therefore what we want to do is check if it says MSI here on the right side and this should literally be the case for any GPU which you guys are using right now, which is more on the up to date side guys, like even something like a GTX 1050 or even like lower like that, like 980, they should also have this. And then you can see here now MSI and all you guys want to do is basically make sure that this one here is actually checked. So we're just going to click onto it and we're good to go. On the right side now we have interrupt priority and this one you actually want to put to normal guys. Don't put it on high. Normal works a lot better and more consistent and then all we got to do is click here onto apply on the top and then we already set and good to go. And you will immediately notice a difference guys especially if you're playing on a higher hertz refresh rate that your game is just going to overall feel a lot smoother. The next best way to counter high system latency guys is to actually boost your RAM frequency. What I want to talk about is guys that a lot of people actually don't utilize the maximum megahertz that RAM can offer. All you need to do for that is enable an XMP profile. This is basically a mode which you can enable on any PC guys which is automatically gonna use the highest megahertz possible for the RAM which you bought for your PC. And most of the time especially when you buy a brand new gaming PC or you reinstall Windows your RAM is actually not set to the highest it could go. So you could potentially have something like 3600 megahertz RAM but it's only running at like 2400. And all you get to do guys is actually google the exact motherboard model which you have as of right now. You can use a tool like C CPU Z to find it out and then XMP profile. I cannot show you this exactly guys because every single mainboard manufacturer has a different layout and for me I only have two different ones so therefore the easiest way for you is to just simply google your exact mainboard and then how to enable XMP. There should be something like OC settings on most motherboards and there you can find an XMP and just simply turn it on enable. This is a super easy step but it's also one of the most efficient ones to actually do system latency. And of course guys the most important part is as well your ping. This is why you see FNC has winners like Mero, Asian Jeff, and many more pros use Jira Booster. The best part is with my link in the description you can actually try it out for absolutely free guys. Jira Booster is gonna look for the best DNS server in your near, always making sure that you have the lowest and most stable ping. Even if you already have really good ping guys, it's still worth it because it's gonna make it way more consistent. The Jira Booster is gonna actively in the background search for the best DNS servers, always making sure that you have the best connection to Fortnite. As mentioned, check it out for absolutely free with the link in the description guys. Next up guys, if you open up your task manager and your CPU looks something like this. You can see under processes there's just simply a number above 100. Like even 100 is already pretty bad but I see people having this all the way up to like 250 even which is insane guys. Then you definitely need the following step. What you want to do is click on the link in the description guys where you can find the Chris Titus Windows utility. And all I want you to do is copy the following comment here. Go into your Windows search bar and type in that PowerShell. Until you can find Windows PowerShell right click onto it and run it as administrator. Once you're now in here all you got to do is paste in the following comment and press enter here on your keyboard again and then you should see after some while the Chris Titus Windows Tech Utility. And this is basically an insane tool which is automatically gonna de-bloat your whole entire Windows PC. Which means removing all of the pre-installed applications, unwanted tools, processes in the background and just simply removing everything which Microsoft installed on your PC which you just simply don't need. It could be something like a timer app on your PC or Skype or all of that. What we want to do is click under actually tweaks here and then we can see recommended selection. Then we have desktop laptop
laptop minimal and clear. What we want to do is just simply click on the desktop, guys. This is going to be the safest option for most of you out there. If you're on a laptop, you're of course going to enable that one. And you can see it's disabling stuff like game DVR. There's like the built-in Windows recording, which no one really uses. Then we have something like disable telemetry, which is basically Microsoft collecting data of your PC. It's going to run O and O shutout, which is going to actually remove all of the privacy settings, which you also don't need. Like this gives literally Windows permission to collect everything from your PC and all of that. Just simply leave it on the preset ones. As mentioned, I'm going to do desktop here on my PC. It's also going to disable mouse acceleration for you, which is also really important setting. But before you apply all of these tweaks, guys, always make sure that you actually also check your create restore point so that you can actually go back to it if you feel like it actually messed up something with your PC, which should not be the case because these are all tested and they literally work fine on any PC, which I ever worked with. Then after the tweaks are running, guys, all you got to do is reset your PC real quick and your processes should be a lot lower, guys. So next up, what we're also going to utilize is actually the brand new NVIDIA app, guys. I already made so many videos about this, but I'm just going to tell it one more time. Just simply get it, go under the latest drivers and make sure that you get them, guys. Especially if it's a full release version, you should be chilling. If you have something like a GTX 1650, RTX 20, 30, 40 series, definitely there you should utilize always the latest version. If it's a full release, guys, I'm not talking about the studio drivers. I'm talking about game ready drivers. Keep that in mind, yeah? These are like the full release versions. I know some people there like to actually install these beta drivers that you might have some issues but always go for the game ready ones and then under graphics guys i always tell you if you actually scroll down here that these are the best settings here for nvidia we have something like image scaling completely turned off low latency mode turned to on max frame rate off and power management mode prefer maximum performance vertical sync off as well unless you're on 60 or 75 hertz and for the rest you're literally chilling this is all you're gonna need for fortnite in this next step guys i also wrote myself a small program which is basically enabling the best low delay keyboard settings it's just like a small little thing Thing, which is going to change like in your control panel which basically puts your character repeat to the shortest repeat delay and repeat rate so you can basically spam your keys as fast as possible it's just like a small thing which you can get from my discord.gg slash the stripes in the hashtag performance packs channel all you're going to do is click here one actually to fully load the low delay keyboard settings and if you don't like it you can again press two you know just open it up again as admin run it here on number two and it's going to put you again the default keyboard settings but for me i'm going to put it to one of course i'm going to close it and all you got to do is restart your PC real quick for it to actually change in your windows and before i'm going to show you the best in-game settings guys for low delay i would highly recommend if you could search up list drives and actually favor my list drives 1v1 map which is the best for low delay so definitely i'm going to try it of course on this map it has the least amount of assets and all of the new weapons so therefore you should definitely check it out guys so and once we're here right now on the map guys itself what you want to do is open up your settings i usually don't have my fps on unlimited it was only because i recorded a benchmark but for rendering mode definitely use the performance mode on nvidia and intel integrated graphics on amd definitely select DirectX 12 then for the rest you can just simply make sure to copy everything i use my 3d resolution on 90 percent for a nice little fps increase viewing distance on near textures on near and report performance sets on disabled then in here just simply scroll down and also put all of the replays to disabled this is the easiest and best way to showcase so now we're here as well on the map guys and trust me your fortnite is literally going to feel amazing like this is so smooth actually to a point where it's going to be actually difficult to play than ranked <laughs> But yeah, definitely if you want to free build here and all of that, you will notice it's going to feel amazing. And of course, also a lot better in the actual game itself. But yeah, I would highly appreciate if you could use this map to warm up and all of that. You know what I'm saying? This is just like a small little way to support the channel for absolutely free. And with that said, comment down below how much better your system actually feels after playing all of these tweaks here.